So here we are with the TNC bed detector build with the TNC 4.1 uh, development board. We have a new uh, printed circuit board to hold all the components, which is this one, and you can see on the back it has a whole lot of uh, service mounted devices, which are uh, very pleasant because we uh, it saves us a lot of uh, of work building the uh, TNC bed detector, like we did with the TNC uh, 3.6. This is a TNC 4.1, and as you can see, I already mounted two 8 uh, megabyte uh, memory chips here on the TNC. This is a little bit tricky to do, but it's very important if you want to use the access memory. The extra memory is a very nice feature. It allows you to uh, store uh, the sounds that already have passed. So it's a nice uh, audio buffer that we can use. Okay, um, well these are the rotary encoders and um, these are the switches we are using now. It's a 8x8 mm momentary push button and I use these with these um, IC sockets so they uh, go up a little bit. Um, you can also use a, a bigger knob. This is a, a 7 mm knob that we are using here. But you can also use a 10 millimeter one, and you do not need to uh, put on these um, IC sockets. But in case you want to change the uh, the switch, if it has a defect, it's easy to change if they are in these sockets. Um, we have a power switch. We have a, um, a headphone connector. Um, the backup battery of course and this is our enclosure on which I already mounted our lithium battery I chose to use a uh, connector so uh, it's easy to separate <coughs> you can see the same lead here do not trust any uh, leads that are already on the battery because the um, positive and the negative wire are not always mounted in the same way so check that it's easy to pry them out by putting a pin in here and pull them out but just or otherwise <coughs> build your own wire or buy one with the right connection just be sure that the plus and minus which are also indicated on the uh, circuit boards are on the right uh, position Okay, the display, <coughs> on the display it's uh, important, we have the Q1 transistor for the uh, backlight control and this display actually is a short version, there is also one that is uh, 2.5 millimeters longer, so that is why we have the two positions over here on the uh, main board. This one needs to come off, there is no space in the, uh, in the design for this simply try and clip this off this end and fold it over it will break off easily and there is no important part around here so uh, it's very difficult to really damage this display okay well here we have some headers <coughs> to mount the teensy there also is a single pin header which needs to be mounted on the uh, backup battery pin so do not forget that single pin these headers are for the display and over here we have some uh, optional materials. I have an extra switch. This switch um, can uh, bypass a uh, small high pass filter which is built in here. I like to have some high pass filtering. It's, it's not doing a, a very sharp filter job but just takes off the edges of the lower strong signals, lower frequency signals. Using the switch you can bypass that uh, high pass filter, but there also is a solder jumper SJ3 which can bypass that switch. You can see two solder jumpers made here, which I normally do uh, on the test equipment that I'm using right now. Um, but the SJ3 does the same job as the switch. If you want to eliminate the high pass filter, just put a droplet of solder over there. Um, this one here is a uh, temperature sensor. You can uh, put this temperature sensor uh, on this board, like so. It has to be outside of the enclosure, so it has to be about three millimeters 
away from the board and the temperature sensor well gives a nice indication but it's a little bit hard to uh, to get a very good accurate reading because your hand is close and the detector is a little bit warm we have a little bit of compensation but uh, it's nice for indication but not real figures okay this one <coughs> is used uh, as our um, uh, external microphone connector we can uh, put on an external uh, microphone and if we want to do that we should remove those two solar jumpers SGA1 and SGA2 uh, short the switches here in this connector so if you place this be sure you do not have the jumpers uh, this is done so if you place a microphone the internal microphone is switched off and only the external microphone is used so this just uh, closes those switches in case you do not want to use the external microphone connector um, and we have this one the GPS uh, receiver comes with long leads with two sets of leads I always use this one with the black plastic ends because the other lead that is uh, supplied has two of these same connectors and it's a little bit hard to be sure you have the right one okay goes the other way um, I soldered this one directly to the main board so I peel off the uh, label and solder the tin can directly to the main board kind of like this but I will show you later the GPS however does not have very good reception because of all the noise going on all the data rushing here around the TNC and the main board so we use two shields with um, RF absorbers to be able to get a good fix or a better fix um, this one comes over the TNC it has a hole for the for the switch in the in the TNC so you can still access the programming switch normally we, we do not have to reach that but it's better to have uh, that switch on and I recommend to put some tape over here because the display will come quite close so this will be sitting like this right over here but underneath this uh, TNC between the headers I also like to attach a piece of this um, RFI uh, absorbing RF absorbing material it's some kind of uh, ferrite sheet which can absorb the excess energy okay so here we have the build device already so you can see a bit what it looks like I normally start with the uh, with the uh, header pins and I push the pins uh, together before I start soldering so uh, you can check which end needs to be on the board but I first push them all firmly together so the plastic touches each other so you are uh, sure the height is correct and then I push put them in here and put the TNC on top so I'm sure the pins are all straight um, well after that it's simply putting all the co components in place and, and soldering them uh, there is no special uh, way to mount it the uh, most important thing to uh, notice I guess is the way the um, GPS module is placed I can put on the, the display again so you can see it almost touches the GPS or the display over here should be nice and straight and you should be aware of the fact that it should not be in front of the microphone the microphone needs to touch the inside of the housing and that's why we also have some kind of a seal over here to make sure it has a, a good seal to the inside of the housing so we can make uh, nice recordings um, the microphone is on this angled header like this after soldering clip these ends so they are flat and this plastic should be high enough so the microphone can be touching the printed circuit board and what I do is always solder just one pin normally the center pin 
and fit it in the uh, in the housing. If for some reason uh, it's not lined up with this hole over here, it's easy to maneuver it when you just uh, heat up one pin and move it around so it's in the uh, in the right direction. Okay, well that's just uh, just about all that is to it. Um, you already probably have noticed that the uh, the socket is over here for the battery connector. You could also use it on the bottom side, but since the battery is quite close to the board, this uh, connector is on the top side and there is a small notch out of the printed circuit board that should give enough space to, uh, to mount the whole thing. Okay, so this is the TNC 4.1 bed detector. I hope uh, it gives you a nice idea to uh, see if you can build it. It's only the larger parts, all the headers you need to solder, uh, connectors, the, the microphone, some connectors here, switches, and the rest is all on the board. It gets a little bit close around this uh, area where there is a uh, encoder where you have to solder uh, some pins near some uh, smaller electronics. But that's all that's, uh, that's to it. Only the uh, the Teensy with the uh, memory chips are a little bit small, maybe a bit tricky for uh, people that are not very accustomed to soldering. But otherwise the build is a lot easier than the uh, previous version. Okay, well good luck building. I hope you, uh, you build one and have a lot of fun uh, like I did using the Teensy bed detector. Okay, bye-bye.